Welcome back to the channel and thank you for checking out this video. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different because I'm not necessarily reviewing anything. But what I am doing is I am going to be announcing something that I am going to do. If that makes sense. Just as a little background, I actually consider myself a gamer. I'm not a hardcore gamer, but I did definitely grow up as a gamer. When I was a kid, we used to play with this computer called the Vetrex. And I don't know if you guys are even familiar with that, but it looked like a little little arcade that's just really tiny. And then I have dabbled with the Atari. We didn't really have one, my cousin did, but I played that one. Before Nintendo came to the States, we had the Famicom or the family computer. And that's what I basically, that's my first gaming console. After that, we moved to um, the, the Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Sega CD, the Sega Saturn. We didn't have the Neo Geo because they were very expensive at that time. PS1, then the PS2, the Xbox 360, and then the PS4. Oh yeah, and um, PC gaming. I mean, I still don't know anything about PCs. I consider myself worse than a noob when it comes to PCs and the different builds. So I thought it was a pretty good idea to maybe revisit that old side of myself because if you look at my instagram right now even this youtube channel pretty much what i'm focused on are just work so you'll see my desk set up right behind me my other desk set up and they're all mac based and they're very proficient and efficient for for what i do but they're not really very good for gaming and i kind of want to get back into the gaming side just because now that i'm older i feel like why not but i'm glad that i kind of put that on pause for a little bit because i wouldn't have been able to grow in other aspects of my life if i were still gaming right now but that doesn't mean that i don't miss it very terribly so i do and that's why i want to build my first gaming PC. Like I said, I know nothing about gaming PCs or building them. So I had to ask for help. And one person that I have been friends with for a while now on Instagram decided that he would guide me through this process. And his name is Daily Setup Tech. And I'll leave the link to his Instagram right there and also his YouTube channel. He shares a lot of different desk setups on his Instagram. And fairly recently, he started to share more of his PC builds. He actually is passionate about building PCs and he was very excited to help me. That being said, I want to share with you the parts that we've decided to purchase or to acquire for this actual PC build. So one of the requirements that I asked him is that I wanted the PC itself to be a little bit compact and discreet, you know, not too many lights or RGBs and all that stuff because that's just not my style. So he suggested to check out Sliger's M580 uh, case. So I reached out to Sliger and to see if I can get one of those cases because they, apparently they're backed up and they got back to me and said they are actually in production of a new batch of these M850 or 580 cases. And they were very, very gracious enough to actually send me one. And so this case is sponsored by Sliger and I am so grateful because I know nothing about PCs and I just highly, super duper, really appreciate that very kind gesture. I mean, there's nothing else that I can say other than this looks awesome. This is coming from someone who knows nothing about PCs, but I'm sure you guys who are watching this, if you are familiar with it, you know how nice this case is. And yes, it is actually smaller than I was expecting. Um, very compact. And according to my friend, Daily Setup Tech, it's designed in a way that it's very good for cooling. And so when it's good for cooling, that means that the fans are not going to work as hard, which also means it's going to be near silent. I went with this dark gray finish. I wanted something that's a little bit stealthy and I think this is just perfect. So Sliger, thank you so much for sending this. I really, really appreciate it. I'm just so excited. I wanted to start building this PC. Up next is the CPU and we've decided to get this AMD Ryzen 7 third gen processor. This is the 3700X and according to my friend is that this is a generally good performing CPU. Also, it's added adequately priced, um, according to him. Intels are usually better for gaming, but the price difference between this and the Intel version, I guess is, um, it doesn't make sense for me, especially if I'm just like a, a casual gamer. So he thinks that this is adequate enough and that's why he decided that, or he suggested that I get this. For the motherboard, we decided to go with the Asus B550i. He said that um, there's really not much selection when it comes to motherboards, but he said that this is perfect for, for my purpose. It has uh, good VRMs or 
voltage regulator modules and enough uh, fan headers and also a type c internal header which i don't really know what any of those means but i do trust him so i went with that one for the ram i went ahead and got the corsair 32 or 3600 megahertz uh 32 gigs so two 16 gig ram sticks because he said the motherboard only has two slots for the ram and it would make sense to kind of future proof the pc because we can't really we don't so that we don't have to swap anything out if we want to upgrade later on this might be overkill because for gaming he said usually 16 gigs is good enough but 32 gigs uh will give me enough room if i should decide to maybe edit using this um this build or not which you know i may or may not it's just nice to have that option so for internal storage we chose the samsung 970 evo um, ssd one terabyte i think that's just enough for someone like me because i'm most likely just going to be playing with one game at a time for the cooler we got the nzxt kraken x63 it's very confusing to me all these names but he said that this is the best cooler that he can recommend for my type of build also it has very cool looking aios again i don't know what any of that means and then for the power supply we chose the corsair sf600 for this build according to him the uh the corsairs are actually the best in, when it comes to itx builds he also said that there's a shortage of um power supplies in the us and so the prices are kind of inflated so he thinks that this would be good enough and then lastly is the gpu which i still don't have with me because nvidia just announced their new gpus and what he recommended me get was the um, rtx 3080 apparently that particular one is i think the mid-tier one which outperforms the last generation from nvidia as well so he said that's going to be the perfect one for me but i have to try to get one as quickly as i can as they they i guess they run out as soon as they're available so keeping my fingers crossed but the exciting thing is that i can start building a pc with the stuff that i currently have right now and that can come in last so what is the point of me making this video honestly i just wanted to share this journey with you guys and for the longest time i've been super intimidated with you know people who know how to build pcs and i'm honestly just afraid to even approach anyone with any questions at all many thanks to daily setup tech for helping me out and i really do appreciate it and so this is going to be a fun one and maybe i can start gaming again but that's pretty much it for today's video and i appreciate you watching once again thank you so much for the support that you have been giving me if you uh, don't mind please do like this video and subscribe to the channel because that does help me a ton and also, I would like to invite you to check out my podcast with fellow creative Chelsea Horn. We call it the Coffee with Creators podcast. And what it is, is basically a podcast for content creators by content creators. Maybe once things are up and running, you can watch me fail and fail again at my gaming endeavors. Because I'm not really that good. I just like playing. Anyway, I'll catch you guys again on the next video. Take care. Uh, ITX, I think, are the smaller builds, and the ATX are the bigger ones.